In this video, I'm going to go over a function in C that allows us to calculate the quotient and remainder of a division all at once. So normally if we do a division, we could say like int numerator is equal to, let's say 10, and int denominator, let's say is equal to 3. We've got two options. We could use the division operation. We could say like int quotient is equal to, we'll say numerator divided by denominator. And what this does is integer division, right? So it's going to say that 3 goes into 10 three times, and that'll be the result for the quotient. And then we can calculate the remainder using the modulus operator. So we could say here int remainder is equal to numerator modulus denominator. And this gives us the remainder, right? So we're going to get 1 because 3 goes into 10 three times, but you've got 1 left over. So you've got a re remainder of 1, right? We could print these out just to verify that, but that's what we should expect. Now, the only thing that's a pain with this is we're having to do two operations here. We're having to do one operation and another operation, and it'd be nice if we could just do it all at once in one line. So after we compile this and run it, we see that we get a quotient of three and a remainder of one, but there's a function we can use inside the stdlib.h library. And the function is just called div, and div will carry out a division and what it does is it returns back a struct that contains the quotient and the remainder. So it looks like this. So instead of this, we can call a function. So we call a function div with the numerator and the denominator. And what it's going to return is a struct. And we can create this type of struct with div underscore t, and we'll say result. So div underscore t, this is basically a type def synonym for the struct. And we can create variables of that struct type with say, by saying div underscore t and then the variable name. And this will actually then create a variable here, result, that has two members because it's a struct. It's got two members, quote and remainder. So we can say here result dot quote and we can say result dot remainder. And now we can compute both with just this one line here. So we can do a recompile here and run it and we get the same result as before. But the difference is we've kind of eliminated a line of code and we're doing both operations at once. Now there's some variations on this function that work with longs. So longs are the longer type of integers that store larger integer values. And there's a variation on this where it works with longs. And all you do is just put L in front of div and you put L in front of the, the type here. And this is now gonna work with long type numbers. I should put percent %LD down here because we're, we've got a long here, so I'll say LD down there. But this is now just a variation on what we just did, and it's just built to work with long numbers. And so if you were working with like very, very large integers, you would want to use this function and this type as well with, with the long type as well. And there's actually a couple more variations that work with even larger integers, but I'll just throw a link into the description just to help you with that because they're basically the exact same thing. They just keep on adding some more characters to this to come up with more variations of it. So that's the div function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.